Good morning. In this video, we are going to discuss about significant figures. It is very simple topic. At the same time, you need to remember few rules to solve some problem based on significant figures. First, let us see what is significant figure. It is nothing but the number of digits in a scientific data that are reliable or that are accurate. What is the significance of these significant figures? When we have more significant figures, the accuracy will be very high. Higher the significant figure, higher will be the accuracy. You should have a clear idea about accuracy and precision. We will discuss that later. We can understand this concept with very simple example. That is the distance between Coimbatore and Thambaram. Since I am in Coimbatore, I have taken Coimbatore. The distance is 501.8 kilometers. I can write like this also 501 kilometer and 800 meter. According to this value, it is 800 meter but I am sure it will not be exactly 800 meter considering the rounding off this may be from 751 meter to 849 meter so this is not highly accurate further it will be very difficult to say or to use this value in the calculation Generally, since it is very close to 500, we can consider this as 500 km distance. We need not bother about the meters. This is more accurate compared to this. Still, this is acceptable. The calculation, we can use this value because the error percentage will be very less. The difference between the actual value and this one is only 1.8 km. For 501.8 km, the error is 1.8 km. When I use 500 km in the problem or when I say it is only 500 km, the error percentage we are going to calculate. So the difference is 1.8 km. This is for 501.8 km. Since I want to calculate for 100 km. Since I want to find out the percentage, I go for, for 100 km, how much will be the error? Just go for cross multiplication. 100, 1.8 divided by 501.8 km. What we get is? 0.36 percentage it is very less less than one percentage error so it is acceptable if you compare these two readings 501.8 and 500 501.8 that is more accurate there are four digits in this value that is more accurate 500 it is rounded off and it has less digits that are accurate now if you compare 501.8 and 500 this has four digits but this one has only three digits i mentioned more the number of significant figures more will be accuracy so this is more accurate this is less accurate Further, in this, I have three digits. In these three digits, how many are accurate? The actual one is 501, but here I have zero. So this digit is not accurate. It should be one, but here I have only zero. So this is not significant figure. Further, 500 may be obtained if the actual value is say around 498 in this case also we can get 500 we can go for rounding off and we can get 500 
So if you consider like this, even this one is not accurate. So when you have zero, there is possibility for the zero not to be a significant figure. So here the significant figure is only one, but in the first one it is four. Let's go for one more example that is speed of light. You may be very familiar with this value that is 3 lakh kilometers. Generally we express in meters 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters. In the SA unit we use meter so we use this in the calculation. But this is not the exact value. The exact value is 2 lakh 99,792 kilometers. But still, we use this value in the calculation because the difference between these two is negligible. If you calculate the error percentage, it will be negligible. The difference between these two values is 208 kilometers. The actual value is 2,99,792 kilometers. I multiply this by 100, I get around 0.06. It is not even 0.1%. So the error percentage is very less, so it is negligible. If you want to calculate the accurate value, then you have to use this. But generally, in the calculation, even 1% error is acceptable. So considering this, we use this value in the calculation, not this. Now compare these two values. Here, in actual value, I have 2, but here I have 0. So this is not accurate, so this is not significant figure. Second one, here I have 9, but here I have 0. So this also is not significant figure. Similarly, all these zeros are not significant figures. Only this 2 and 3, they are significant. If you round off this, you will get 3. So this is significant figure. So in this case, I have only one significant figure. But in this value, all the six digits are significant figures. They are accurate and they are reliable. I can go for one more example, that is Avogadro number. You may be very familiar with this number also. 6.022 into 10 to power 20. One mole of any compound will have this many molecules. I expand this further. 6, 0, 2, 2. Since it is 10 to the power 23, I have to add another 20, 0. Here, the fifth digit may not be 0. If you search in Google, you will get this value. Here, the fifth digit will be 1, sixth digit will be 4, the next one will be 0, next one 7 and 6. But for simplicity, we consider only these four digits. If you calculate the error percentage between this value and the actual one, it will be a negligible amount. That's why we consider this. So in this example, this is not significant. Similarly, this is not significant. So all these zeros are not significant. Only these four digits are significant. Now, we are going to discuss a few rules to find out the significant figures. The first one, exact numbers and fixed values. They have infinity significant figures. For example, 1 kg is equal to 1000 gram. Now, this 1000 gram has infinity significant figure because it is fixed value when I say thousand you can write like this also there may be infinity number of zeros because it is exactly thousand gram and say exact number say in your class there are 25 students it's fixed exact number 25 so that also will have infinity significant figures Second one, all non-zero digits are significant. 
For example, let us consider our value, universal gas constant, it is 8.314 Joule per Kelvin mole. So here there is no zero, only non-zero values are there. All four are significant. So the significant figure in this is four. Here we discuss only about the digits, not the value of this constant. There are four digits, all are non-zero digits, so all are significant. So the significant figure of this value is 4. These two are very simple. Now let's go for the third one. This is about 0. You should be very careful when you have 0 in the value. We can classify the zeros into three categories. The first one is leading zeros. The zero before the non-zero digits. The next one trailing zeros. The zeros after the non-zero digits. The last one zeros in between non-zero digits. For example, we discuss like this, the distance between Coimbatore and Tamram is 501.8 kilometers. Here, zero is in between non-zero digits. So when you have zero in between non-zero digits, these zeros are significant. When zero is present in between non-zero digits, that should be considered as significant figures. Because this is the exact value, this is not approximation, this is the exact value. What about leading zeros? Say for example, I have a value like this, 08.314, this is leading zero. This has no meaning at all, so this is not significant. So leading zeros are not significant figure, you need not consider them. It may be even like this. 0.008314 it may be even after the decimal point it doesn't matter this is not significant leading zeros are not significant zeros in between non-zero digits are significant what about trailing zeros I give two examples here let us consider 3 lakh kilometers. The speed of light is 3 lakh kilometers. But I go for one more reading. Say in the electronic balance, I get 10 gram and 0 0.000. Now, these five zeros are trailing zeros. Similarly, these four zeros or trailing. Here there is no decimal point but here decimal point is there. If the zeros are without any decimal points then these zeros are not significant figure. Already we have seen the reason. This value might have been obtained by approximation. So zeros without any decimal points or trailing zeros without any decimal points are non-significant. But if the trailing zeros are after the decimal point, they are significant. When I have zero after the decimal point, that is the exact value. The first decimal point, it is zero, it is fixed. You should be very careful between these two. Often questions are asked based on this trailing zeros. There may be decimal point or there may not be decimal point. Based on that question may be asked. So you should be very careful about this particular point. Now let us discuss how the significant figures are used in addition, subtraction, multiplication and division.
in simple calculation how the significant figures are used. First let us go for addition and subtraction. We are going to use the same method for this. Let us consider the gas constant 8.314. I take one more value 6.626. Let us go for addition. The first one I have four significant figures. One, two, three and four all are non-zero digits. So I have four significant figures. Second one I have five significant figures. I go for addition. I will get three here. Zero, four, nine, fourteen. Now, what should be the value in terms of significant figure? How to express this value? I have two values. The first one, after the decimal point, I have only three significant figures. The second one, I have four. Here, the fourth decimal point may be zero, one, two, three, or four. We have more possibilities also. That is, it may be three, six, three, seven. 3839 that also possible so there is uncertainty in this digit so we should not consider this particular digit after addition what we get is 14.940 this is the exact answer considering the significant figures when you add these two numbers the final value what you get should be this Simply, you check the number of digits after the decimal points. Which one is the minimum? That many digits should be here. Say for example, it is like this. After the decimal points, I have only two here. So it should be only two, 14 point. 9 it is not 3 considering the rounding off should be 4 let us go for subtraction let us consider 8.3 and 6.626 when you subtract you get this value the first one i have only one decimal point so here the answer, final answer should be like this. Since it is more than 5, I have rounded off. So it should be 1.7. Now, let us go for multiplication and division. The strategy will be same for these two process. Let us go for the multiplication of 8.3 and 6.62. If you multiply, the value will be 54.9958. The first one I have only two significant figures, and the second one I have three significant figures. In the answer I have five, six significant figures. How to express this? In addition and subtraction, I have focused on the number of digits after the decimal point. But here I have to find out the number with minimum significant figure. Here I have only two, here I have three. So the answer whatever I give should have only two significant figures. Considering that the answer should be 55. Here I have 54 since it is 9 I have rounded off so the answer should be 55. Let us go for division also. Upon division, we get this. But the answer, whatever we give, should have only two significant figure. So that is this. Further, if you go for round off, it may be 1.3. Since I have 5, I go for 1.3. Now, let us discuss the difference between accuracy and precision. Accuracy is nothing but 
the deviation of experimental value from the expected value or the closeness of the experimental value with the expected value. What about precision? It is nothing but the deviation between experimental value. For example, let us consider the expected value that is the accurate value say the expected value is A. During the experiment I get value B. I can repeat this n number of times so that I can get other values also say they are C, D, E and it goes on. The accuracy compares A with B. How close they are? That is given by accuracy. Not only B, even we can compare with C. Similarly with D. Accuracy compares expected value with experimental value. So to find out accuracy, you require both expected value and experimental value. What about precision? Precision compares the closeness of experimental value. How close these are. Now let us go for some example. You might have carried out some volumetric titration. So let us take the reading whatever we get in the volumetric titration. Say student A has got three readings like this. Another student B has got Let us consider one more student He has got readings They may not know the accurate value They have got three readings So it is mentioned here The teacher might have carried out the same experiment And he may have the expected value Say it is 19.2 It is also known as skill value. The skilled person will carry out the experiment whatever value he get that will be skill value. Now let's compare the expected value with the experimental value 19.2 and here 19.2. If you go for concordant value 19.2. So this value is very close to the expected value so that is very high accuracy. I compare these three values. They are very close. The difference is only 0.1. Because of that, this reading has very high precision also. Let us go to student B. He has got 18.1, 18.2 and 18.2. Compare with the skill value 19.2 here 18.2. The difference is huge. Because of that accuracy is very poor. At the same time there is only 0.1 difference between these values. The readings are very close. I can say the precision is high for these readings. It is not accurate, but still there is possibility to have precision. Last one, 18.1, 19.1, 20.1. Say student C has got these readings. The readings are far away from 19.2. These two readings are far away from the skill value. So this is not accurate. So there is no accuracy. I can say poor accuracy. What about precision? The readings are not very close. So the precision is also very poor. Generally this is expressed like this. Say this is the target that is the expected value. We may get 
so many readings the readings may be very close to the expected value also the readings whatever i get so here i have mentioned around seven readings all the seven readings are very close to the expected value in that case the accuracy is high and precision is high i go to the second one this is the expected value i may get around seven readings they are far away from the accurate value at the same time they are very close in this case the accuracy is poor but precision is high let us go for the third possibility this is the expected value say we get like this there is no close agreement between the readings also they are not close to the expected value in this case the accuracy is poor and the precision is also poor 